Boom, 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 boom. Hell yeah, intro! Hello everybody, this is Hater at Heart. Coming at you for more Skyward Sword. And happy 4th of July! I don't know if I put this on the channel yet by the time I upload this. But I plan on having all of July. It's going to be a shitload of uploads. And maybe a special... I don't know. Maybe a special surprise in the middle of the month. But for now, I'm going to record Chibi Robo and Skyward Sword in bulk and release at least one episode a day. At least I'll try to. So last time we were here... <clears throat> Sorry about that. Last time we were here... We were told that we had to research the Bowed of the Goddess with that damn harp that we did. In order to do that, we have to climb up here. At least I think we do. I really hope this is all we have to do. Huh, let's see. Alright, wait. All right, here we are. Wait a minute. What is this? Beneath... Damn it. All right, so what are... Oh! Ow! Maybe I shouldn't have done that. So... Oh, I actually forgot... I actually forgot what to do here. Huh. This is certainly an issue. Hmm. I'm gonna go ask Zelda's father to see. Because I may have just gotten ahead of myself trying to go up there. Oh god, this is so tedious. So how's everybody doing? I've just been doing summer stuff and by summer stuff I mean just pretty much going out hanging out with one friend who actually bothers to hang out with I actually just got back from getting tacos it was quite it was quite fun now where's that assholes office here he is the asshole guy who probably turns into the owl from Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time you're back, Link. Good to see you're still in one piece. So how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Talk, talk, talk. Yeah, this is how it goes down. Hmm, I see. My dear Zelda, things must be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? Well, duh. I mean, not. I have to pretty much put myself in harm's way. What? You want to know that lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? You know, I'm not much of a singer. Sing it! Sing it, man! Sing it! Listen, as I said, I wouldn't feel comfortable serenading you, but if it's the lyrics you have to, I can recite them for you. Let's see. Aw, oh, man! Sing! Oh, youth, guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, and bring light to the land. That's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse to the song. O oh, youth, show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower, and before you a path shall open, and a heavenly song you shall hear. Beautiful. Beautiful. I can't, I, I can't even fathom how beautiful that was. The light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza. I don't know a thing about two whirling sails, though. Sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails the way to the tower, something will happen. How do you go about doing that? And what does it mean? Two whirling sails. Hmm. Well, it couldn't possibly be important that they're highlighted. Alright. Now I remember. Now I definitely remember what to do. 
I wish I could run inside. Why can't I run inside? Hey, hey man, what you doing? Maybe he went to, had to run away because of his broken heart. What a tough guy. You're a little dick. I hope somebody breaks your heart someday. Wow, I just got- I had a lot of frames dropped, didn't I? Wonder what that was all about. Well, in the video, if you see a lot of frames dropped, I apologize. I don't really see how it happened, but... Alright. Alright, so this is the first of the whirling sails. We just have to keep holding this button down until it moves towards the s light tower, which is right over in that direct. Did I just miss it? Go back. Please go back. Son of a bitch. You spit me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby, right round, 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 come on. Any minute now. Don't have all day. Oh. Yeah. Suck it. Alright, so the other one should be over here, I think. Where is it? Oh, god damn it, don't tell me. The second one's going to be broken, and I'm going to have to fix it. Why am I talking like this? Alright, so there's the second one. Please, I really hope I'm wrong. Please let me be wrong. I don't want to go f Fuck me. Fuck me up the asshole with a chainsaw. Why? Hey, Pompadour. Thank you so much for tracking down Kukleo, Link. It's such a gorgeous day today, too. On a day like today, there's nothing I love more than to head over to the Lumpy Pumpkin for a sip of soup. Of course, my ass. My wife asked me to fix the cupboard, so I'm not going anywhere. So, I, the story of my life. Hey. What's up, Link? I just talked to you, bitch. So you're curious about that windmill, eh? Pretty smart design, I got to say. See, you can turn the windmill so that you can always catch the wind no matter which way it's blowing. But well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so you could turn it. And it's certainly not important that it's highlighted in such a way. The thing flew off ages ago. It must have dropped off down the edge, down beneath the clouds. Uh, and I remember seeing that son of a bitch too. The windmill's been uselessly sitting there ever since. I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to reorient the windmill. No shit. You want to know if I can fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller? Uh, so you're not even you you're not even questioning fee right now. All right. Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get back on there, sure. It's near the red light. But how could you ever go looking for a propeller in the first place? Once something falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. Hang on. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop once told me someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. But we're talking about a tale that's been passed down a lot of years, so I won't put much stalk in it. Oh, you're right. So we saw that propeller at Elden Volcano. If you don't remember, look back. You'd, you'd probably see it somewhere. I'm not going to point it out to you. So I had to go to the bazaar. Yippee. Which means we have to cross that cat-eyed man, woman, fortune teller thing. I don't know, I don't want to go in here. Speaking of which, do I have enough rupees to buy this? That's a sacred shield! Five hundred rupees. I should probably have bought that... Probably bought that rupee... Collector thing. 
Uh, what's in here? Oh, that's a seed satchel. I don't want it. Hey, bitch. I don't want it. Leave me the fuck alone. Now, let me talk to this bitch. Oh, hey, this is the item, Jack. I bet you're here just to check me out. Well, well, don't make a habit of it, okay? Anyone want to grab something or drop me off? Yes, please. Alright, let's see it. What's in my pouch? Huh. I'll just finish up here. Okay, thank you. Come again. Okay, so this is Gondo. Hey, kid, what's up? You look like you need to get something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You got a favor to ask me, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Huh? It's about this old robot my grandpa used to tank around with. You probably just came here to make fun of the crazy junk guy for believing his grandpa's stupid stories, right? I'm sorry if this is sounding incredibly stereotyped. Well, get in line. I've heard it before. Wait, that's not why you're here? You say you need to pick up something from below the clouds with this robot? Silly white boy. Do you know what that means? That means you believe in my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Well, I'm happy to hear that somebody else believes me. But I don't think I can help you. You see, my grandpa's old robot. What's it called again? Uh, oh, hey, that's right. I remember his name is Scrapper. He may not be much to look at these days. But he was an amazing robot once. When you call him, he would go anywhere and haul anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's just another busted old hunk of junk. But old Gramps did tell me this. You can get him working again with the extract from an ancient flower. It's like oil to this guy. But I never heard of much I've seen anything like it. Take mine. What, you have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Hey, buddy here. So this is an ancient flower. I can feel some slick, oily stuff coming out of its stem. Great, with this we can fix Scrapper. Wait right here. I'll have him up and running in no time. <laughs> Phew. There you go. Thank you, Zerk. I got a full tank of energy and I'm ready to carry anything, Zit. Huh? Who is this green clad individual of small stature? <laughs> Whoa, it's all. Can you believe that? I guess I really did fix him. This kid gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Go on, say thank you. Hmm, are you sure it was him, Zerk? Well, then, I extend my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obligatory gratitude, Vert Honk. Hey, now, watch! That's no way to talk to somebody who just saved your life! Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around, and you're going to help him. Hmm, this individual may have restored my operations, but I'm not inclined to offer assistance, Zert. Serving children is very low in my task priority, Zit. Master Link, materials from the windmill have you to a single that you may search for with your dowsing ability. Use it to locate the fucking dowsing. How does it work? I'm not going to do it. Not going to douse. I already know where it is. However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. Who are you, Zerpfus? Your name is Fee? Z should I call you Mistress Fee? Are you looking for something, Mistress V? I... I understand, Vert. At your request, I will carry anything, regardless of weight or destination. Z Master... We now have the means to bring the propeller back to Skarloft. You may immediately begin your search with the windmill propeller. Master Short Pants! I offer assistance. I can now detect Mr. Fee's thought waves, Vert. Should you need me, ask Mr. Speed to call me and I will arrive with haste, Zat. So how do you plan to recover all the stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know, you could always ask the fortune teller over there. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things, he's always right on the money. 
My goofy looking do you mean creepy? Yes. He's incredibly creepy. No! Oh no, uh, hang on. I see you're looking well these days, alright? So I'd say you found the time to gather all a variety of magnificent treasures. Come, come closer. If it's treasure you seek, I'll use my mystical vision to find answers for you. Go screw yourself, I, I'm not helping. Hey man, what do you want? I've been hearing weird rumors. Apparently at nightfall, people have been hearing a woman sobbing in the dormitory. I tell you, it even gives a big like like me creeps. I'm not dowsing. I refuse to douse. Dowsing is not in my nature. Oh my god. There. Happy? Happy? I doused. Now stop annoying me. So as you can see, we can't just merely go up into the light tower. We had to do side quests. Side quests up the ass. Alright, so this should be a good place to stop for now. I'm Hater at Heart, and thank you for watching Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I hope you all have a wonderful 4th of July. Or had a wonderful 4th of July, depending on when you watch this. Alrighty then. Later, y'alls.